welcome back guys to another video and in this one i will be doing another quick review of an operating system but today we have an, a modification a recent modification of the official uh, raspberry pi os the raspbian operating system and they are calling this one the raspbian pixel now this is a graphical overhaul we'll see that in a minute so let's go ahead and power on our raspberry pi so now as you guys can see the Raspberry Pi has a boot splash text effect but um, if you do want to disable the splash screen and go back to the scrolling test you can do it with a simple uh, config.txt entry and that would work as well but I think it's a pretty good inclusion. So let's uh, move on and as you can see um, the elements might be looking a bit bigger than usual and that is because I have actually decreased the resolution so it's um, it can be seen properly uh, via the camera so again uh, oh, quite a lot of changes all the icons have been changed we'll see them in a moment uh, most obvious change is that uh, all the UI elements have been changed to a material or a flat kind of a theme so we have our Bluetooth and our Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet uh, icons right here as well as the volume one and as you can see all the icons have changed so next up let's open up the menu and you can see pretty much every icon there is has changed so this is more of a graphics overhaul uh, one of the things that I uh, noticed and it's really nice so let's go ahead, if we go ahead into the um, accessories part there is something called the text editor now it actually used to be called leaf pad it's still the same application but they have changed names of certain applications uh, uh, so that they can be recognized easily um, what we have here is the text editor and for similar uh, things uh, when you hover and there is a little message uh, that has also been changed to better explain what the application is for so we do have a few uh, new inbuilt applications uh, first of which is uh, sense hat emulator so if you guys know the raspberry pi foundation did release a add-on for the raspberry pi called the sense hat now it was it is uh, supposed to be a piece of hardware that pretty much has a lot of sensors to play around neo pixel display and all that sort of stuff but it's actually quite expensive so let's go ahead and uh, run an application just to see how this works so we'll go into file and open an example and then in intermediate let's try bar graph a python script will open we'll run that and that should actually run the emulation so as you can see we have three bars uh, first one represent the temperature the next one the pressure and the next one humidity and as we move uh, the slider up or down the uh, bar change in size so this is how this works we have um, all the sensor controls right here orientation joystick and uh, stuff like that we can also change the ori orientation of the uh, board itself so this was the first inclusion um, the next one happens to be uh, chromium browser is finally the default browser on the raspberry pi epiphany uh, the, was the last one that we used to run but we finally have a kind of a modified version of uh, chromium so as you guys know chromium is actually the open source uh, part or counterpart of google chrome browser exactly the same thing just uh, with less of google so one of the things is that it has two inbuilt extensions so ublock origin is there for some reason to block ads now the thing is i am not very for ad block because i earn from ads and I know uh, that how much ad blocking hurts so I'll probably uh, turn turn this one off and the next one we have is called a, a h265 kind of a name uh, well so this uh, option actually 
forces YouTube to play back videos in a format is much more understandable the Raspberry Pi's hardware so that's H.264 and let's go ahead and open up a website so as you can see I have opened up YouTube and um, this is my channel so let's go ahead and open up a video and I'll show you guys what exactly is happening now in this one uh, we, we can see that the uh, player is working fine it's smooth actually it's pretty smooth and I can uh, scroll and it works fine but the thing is it's only at 360p as we go ahead and increase the resolution uh, the video does start to stutter so it's still not um, uh, good enough for uh, something like say 1080p it will start to stutter so actually it's a pretty good implementation I'd say uh, pretty usable but uh, not perfect because high resolution don't play back that well so again but I'm actually pretty happy for the default inclusion of chromium browser so here I have opened up my blog and the scrolling is actually pretty smooth I'd say uh, better than epiphany at times it does get a bit glitchy here and there but it's fine I mean it's more than usable while scrolling now it's pretty it's actually very well responsive um, and see see it blocked 14 requests on my website so that means I am getting paid for this shit so um yeah so if we refresh this I think we should have an ad somewhere see there is an ad and that just stops that so I don't think this should be there but um and I'll just do that so um, thank you so much for watching guys uh, I hope you really like this video uh, please like share and subscribe probably uninstall ad blocks um, again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Crazy mother